Hi, in today's video, we'll see how to change menus on the service portal. So these are uh, the header menus which are available. Let's see. To change the header menus, you have to go to the service portal application and then under it, you have to go to the menus module. So under the menus module, you get to see a lot of entries uh, from, and from here, you have to go to the SP header menu uh, record. Now, if you click over here, it would go to the widget, which picks up the uh, the menu information from a specific table, but we want to see the configuration. So we'll click here. So when I go to instance with menu page, I get to see all the menus listed over here. Now, the important thing here is the, the type of menu, which is, you can see here knowledge base service catalog page so let me just open one i would be able to explain more so if you see this menu item uh, there are different types which are available so you can create different menus uh, you know you can just put up an url it could be any external url also so when you click on that menu item it would go to that external url then you can specify a service portal page so you can link a menu to any of the existing service portal page and that would open up in the same service portal page when you link it on a menu and i mean there are different uh, ones uh, if you want to implement a business logic onto a menu then you can use the scripted list which would have uh, you know some uh, which would involve some coding to be done so I can show you one example i think we have got the approvals which is a scripted list so you can see here so it has got some script which populates the menu so if you go through the script it's just a glide record on the sys approval table it gets the approval record then on the approval record it makes a call to the sc request table to get requested item and then it builds up an array and it shows onto the menu so that's how it is uh but they yeah, are definitely uh so this is the place you can create your own menus you can uh, disable any of the existing menus which if you don't want something i mean using the active uh the active flag here the active field here so then there is this url which we already talked about so i think that's all i mean well that's all i have in this video hope to see you in the next one